This has been a, repeatedly a question. And I think he should definitely have received the Nobel Peace Prize. Nonviolence and peace. Right, he's an Indian patriot rather than a universal. Mornings are peaceful and I often find time to come back to the field just for some exercise. Uh, just a few days back when it was birthday of Mahatma Gandhi, the great Mahatma Gandhi. And right now when the Nobel Prize is declared, I actually had a thought. Uh, Gandhiji never have won the Nobel Prize. He was never awarded the Nobel Prize. So the question is why? And from this field to my study room, I just want to find out the answer why. Three telegrams from India reached the Norwegian Foreign Office, the Nobel Committee. Now, authors of the telegrams were three important personalities in Indian politics at that time. And all the letters have one common theme. They recommend this year's Nobel Prize to Mahatma Gandhi. Six names were nominated and Gandhiji was one among them. India's father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Non-violence. I admire freedom fighters. I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. Well, I'm sorry for the break, but just in case you are curious, Today's episode is not going to be about all those controversies that you may find on the mainstream media. Apparently, they are motivated by the political ill wills and the attention they can get by the very name of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. From Porbandar, Gujarat to London for studying the law and then to South Africa for his first job there. During his 21 years stay in South Africa, he fought for the people, he fought for the rights of the people, he fought against the exploitations and also against the racism, which was South Africa in South Africa. against all the British operations, all the deprivations, all the exploitations which was in society, mein tha, uske against mein, the Gandhism showed us only one path, the path of non-violence, yani ki ahimsa. And it requires a satyagraha. That means the objective is going to be the truth. So you are going to fight for the truth if you are going to follow the footsteps of Mahatma Gandhi. His journey didn't stop in South Africa. He was back in India, he was actually fighting for the Indian cause, for the Indian farmers, for the Indian laborers, for the Indian common people. Untouchability, deprivation, discrimination and the colonial powers, they were his target. His weapon was nothing but non-violence. Gandhiji, as a freedom fighter, was actually a good leader. And he showed us the way and he guided the Indians to the independence that we have right now. So rightfully, he is called the father of the nation. But the question is that even after doing so much for the society, so much for the freedom of the country, so much for the deprived people, so much for the untouchables, not not only in India but also in South Africa. Why was he not awarded the Nobel Prize so far? Gandhi was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize for 12 times and for four times he made it very close but it didn't happen. In 1947 when Gandhi's name was nominated for the third time he made to the final list actually two members of the Nobel Committee supported his nomination and there were three more members to be convinced. Now when the Nobel Committee was evaluating whether Gandhi was actually the deserved candidate they divided his activities into three different parts and all of them might have been different but they were mutually related to each other. One of them was a struggle between the Britain and India for the independence. 
Indians. Now, this was definitely a very noble and great fight for the Indians, but it was not considered to be one of the criteria by the then Nobel Committee. And then come India's participation in World War One and Two. During World War One, Gandhiji actually supported the idea that Indian soldiers need to go and participate in the World Wars. So that actually hampered Gandhiji's main idea that uh, might have won him the Nobel Prize. Now, Nobel Committee never put their opinion in public. So there is no way that you and I may be super confident about whatever theory we have gone through and whatever theory we may find on the internet. Now, while evaluating Gandhi's chances to be awarded the Nobel Prize, the events between 1937 and 1947 was categorized into three different parts. Ultimately, what the Nobel Committee historian has expressed, the timeline between 1937 and 1947 was actually the time when Gandhi had his greatest victories in the form of the freedom of India. Well, actually, this was the time when he also had to taste the worst of the defeats. Heard in the distance, a vast region was churning with hate. Minorities were tyrannized and persecuted. Millions of men, women and children uprooted from their settled homes and cut off from their old moorings migrated on a dimension unprecedented in recorded history. Although Gandhi was not either the supporter of partition or the communal violence, but unfortunately the Gandhism was overshadowed by the then communal violence. So as far as the opinion of the Nobel Committee is concerned, the three members could not be convinced. And moreover, all the works Gandhiji did were actually favoring the Indians. And it was not considered to be enough for Gandhi to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Now, another popular theory is there that before 1960, the Nobel Committee preferred either the Europeans or the Americans. It was the year 1960 when an African, the first one from outside the Americas and the Europe to have won the Nobel Peace Prize. So before 1960, when Gandhi was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, the chance of Gandhi being awarded the Nobel Prize were actually very less. So whatever logic we may find relevant enough, it might be just the case of the geography. Now the last reason that actually you may find in the public domain, in the year 1948, Gandhi was considered to be awarded the Nobel Prize. But unfortunately, Gandhi was assassinated in that very year. And the Nobel Committee in its website told that in the year 1948, the Nobel Peace Prize was not given to anybody because there was no suitable living candidate. Had Gandhi been not assassinated in that year, in the year 1948, it could have been Gandhi's year. Mohandas Gandhi is renowned for being the leading peace campaigner of the 20th century and the champion of non-violent protest. So after going through all the history, I think Gandhiji not being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize is an unfortunate one. Because there are people who had been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, we have found that the reason was not so solid. And there are some other conspiracy theories also. But India should have its first Nobel Peace Prize winner in the form of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. Now, what you believe is important. So please, in the comment box below, put your comment on the very question where Gandhiji was a deserving candidate for the Nobel Peace Prize during 1940s. 1930s and what according to you is the reason that he was never awarded Nobel Peace Prize and please do like and share this video so that many people can give their opinion about this topic. So thank you and watching you in the next episode.